Hey guys, James with TFB TV SHOT Show, Industry Day at the Range 2022. I'm here with Cody at Diamondback Firearms. I walked by and I saw something that I thought was like a little unusual, like if I'm being honest yeah, with you, absolutely. for Diamondback, what do we have here? All right, so uh, I'm sure you've seen the, the release videos out there of our new revolver, but we just released our revolver. It's going to come with a 22 cylinder and 22 mag. It's a nine shot. You're going to have your double action and single action. Uh, we made it fold out cylinder, push button away from uh, switching back and forth between 22 magnum and 22 long rifle. Kept the price affordable. You're going to be looking at about 320 MSRP. So we know how that works. You're probably going to be out the door after all your taxes and everything about 320 probably. Um, but it's just we're hoping this is going to be our step in the door with revolvers so be on the lookout for a lot more stuff going down with revolvers so why not start with a 22. are you guys manufacturing this in-house or somebody else i mean you contract no, this, this is us in-house uh knocking it out man and uh our release was a little slow we got an initial like 500 out uh christmas break hit and then now we're hitting it hard again because that's probably our biggest complaint is people can't find them but we're pushing them now so when I think of Diamondback, again, I don't think of this. Who came up with the idea? Who's like, you know what we should do? A 22 caliber revolver. So, I mean, be honest with you, the industry talks. We all talk, and you, you already have Heritage, you have the Ruger, and it's a pretty affordable gun to get out there. So we wanted to still keep it affordable, but give you a little more than just a six-shooter, single shot. And that's what kind of convinced us to do this. You know, our distributor said, hey, if you make it, we'll sell it. So everything that we do is kind of based off the customer and the distributors. So if they come to us and tell us to make something, we're gonna do it. Um, but you're right, 100%. Uh, we were originally known for our little tiny DB9, and then we got into ARs, and we're doing great with ARs. ARs have taken us to the next level, and man, things have been great. Complain. What's the cylinder capacity on the 22 revolver? Nine shot on both of them. So you're okay. Get nine nine rounds of magnum and nine rounds of long rifle. This is intimidating to me because I always tell people I'm really bad with my hands. I'm, this is not a gunsmith that yeah. you're looking at right here. So how difficult would it be for me to change the cylinder? All right. So all you gotta do is push in this little plunger here. And I'll, I will, I'll tell you right up, be ready for it. It could fly out if you release it too hard. So light tension on it. There's a little detent in there. You pull your cylinder out. I, all I, do, I tell people to just put your thumb over the hole as you lift out on it and you won't lose your plunger. And then uh, insert it back in. And, and I'm not gonna lie, there's probably gonna be a, a model here in the future that we're gonna have that contained where you're not gonna have, have any kind of chance of losing it. Um, but no, it's simple. Um, I mean, obviously, the first time doing anything, you may be kind of fumbling with your hands, but once you do it once, you're set. Talk to me about the grips. Any compatibility with any pre-existing designs? Yeah, so that's a that's a basically that same grip will fit a Ruger Wrangler. So the grips are already out there. Um, we went out and got some wood ones made, so it gets shipped with a polymer, uh, polymer plain Jane old grip on it. But on our website, you can find some that have special logos on us. But if you see one that has a Ruger Wrangler that you really like, it'll fit our gun. Okay, that's really cool. Now, how do I eject the spent shell casings All right, on this? So because it looks a little bit like kind of a single action only, like with a loading gate. Yes, but. sir. So you could either, this used to be your ejector. So we basically, you can push forward on that or you could grab here. So push forward, pull that out. Oh, okay. So it has so, an ejector. Gotcha. Because so, I'm seeing this and yep. the ejector up front. And I'm thinking it's going to be like, you know, the old school, you yep. pop them out one at a time. So we no. kept that on there and just repurposed it. So it's pulling it out for you and then eject it. Gotcha. So it keeps the same overall aesthetic, but you're looking at essentially a, a 22 caliber double action, single action revolver. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, there's, this isn't the first time it's been done. You know, I mean, if you go back and look at the high standard, it's going to be similar. You know what I mean? Yes, we've added our own little twist to everything, but it's, man, this is to get our foot in the door. And I mean, it's a fun plinker. I mean, I, I carry mine with a rat shot in the 22 Magnum cylinder and the spread on it's just great. As no thinking if a snake comes up on me when I'm out in the woods. I mean, it's just point and shoot and done. Well, Cody, that's really cool. I mean, it was a bit of a surprise. I was yeah. a little shocked when I walked by here, but you walked us through it. You explained it to everybody out here. Guys, stay tuned. We're gonna bring you more SHOT Show 2022. Right on.